Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our Daily Energy and Advice reading. I hope you're doing well. And we're just going to jump in here because Charlie commandeered my seat. <laughs> I'm literally just standing in a very odd position to record the video. But let's see what we have in today's energies. And for the Oracle, I've switched it up to the Tea Leaf Oracle, which I've already shuffled, so. All right, okay. So, let's see what we have. Okay, so, first card that we have, Influence of the Past, on our current situation. We have the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but in a daily energy reading, right? This talks about a time in our lives when either we were dealing with the legal system, we were dealing with courts, we were dealing with a lot of paperwork, uh, tests, exams. This could also be um, seeking expert advice. I don't know if it's to do with a medical issue or a legal issue or education, any, anything like that, okay? See in today's energy what we have. We have the Ten of Wands. So something coming to some sort of completion, but it's more a more a case of something's gotta give with the Ten of Wands. Okay. So whatever it is that we were researching, we're looking for more guidance or information about. It looks like it's kind of taken a life on its of of its own, taken on a life of its own, and it's turned into this big burden where is it taking us page of cups well so the message is it's taking us to some sort of either positive feedback words of appreciation um, further offers presented to us or this could have been a case of if we went through something where we had to put emotion aside and be completely stoic in order to deal with all the responsibilities or to prepare for something else, this is could be where we are opening up to someone else. We are presenting them with an offer, apology, or just words of kindness. So a bit of a mixed bag here because it feels like on the one hand, if this is a case of we've been closed off emotionally or someone else has been closed off emotionally with the king of swords it's been a burden okay with the ten of wands and something's going to be happening today where it's like the, the straw that breaks the camel's back where it's like no okay someone's got to give and it leads to opening up it leads to communication after for the longest time someone really struggling to keep quiet or to keep away um or it's something where hurtful words were said or impulsive actions taken and someone felt really really bad about it but it was easier to just put a wall ignore pretend like it didn't happen stop talking to whoever else it involved and just force ourselves to move on but that has been a burden we haven't been able to because it's been eating us up right and so that could be what's going to lead to this spontaneous opening up spontaneous communication a spontaneous out of the blue type of apology okay and for others this is job well done okay so keep going today might be an extra busy day but whatever it is that we signed a contract with we committed to uh, and it involved a lot of work research study getting extra information and guidance and advice um, Today might be like the final push with a project or with a task. And it leads to some very, very nice words of recognition, praise, rewards, and maybe further offers and opportunities presented. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's look at the oracles. So we have hammock, taking a vacation, physically or mentally. Yeah, well, with the ten of wands there, we feel like we need a vacation, don't we? And spear, heartache over what you no longer have yeah so listen there was something said or done right 
And then since then, there has been a vacation taken from that situation, not talking to the person, not dealing with the situation anymore, pretending it's not there, forcing ourselves to move on, or this could be someone else that we're dealing with. And the heartache is still there, the pain is still there, no one's really moved on, no one's really put down that burden. So it could be a coming back around to clear the air, to offer that apology that they weren't able to before, or we weren't able to, we weren't ready to make that kind of um, step, make, you know, extend that kind of communication, open, our, uh, open up in that kind of a way. Um, and for others, this is, I feel like this is overcompensating for something. Okay, um, overdoing it with the Ten of Wands energy because we made a promise, we made a commitment. I don't feel like, it feels like something that we are pushing ourselves to do, okay? This is an external, this is like, I promised this 15 years ago, I'm still pushing myself to do it, no longer really applies, but because I made the promise, right, King of Swords, and it could be that someone's going to come in with the Page of Cups and be like, well, you know what, you're being too hard on yourself, or, that no longer applies. It just doesn't make sense anymore. It, it, it's not relevant anymore. You've done it. You've done your, your part. You've kept your word. You've kept your promise. You've kept your commitment. It's okay to release it. Okay? It's no longer there. All right? Um, so a bit of an interesting reading here. Tell me how it makes sense to you if you resonate with any of the messages. But, um, yeah, I hope, I hope the reading helps. Okay? So let's have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.